This video will walk you through how you can bulk import your historical trades from your brokers using a CSV file. From the portfolio overview page, click on the add new holding drop down menu and select import from a file. ShareSite will take you to this page and as you can see, there's two options. You can import individual trades or import opening balance. So in this example, we'll import individual trades. And before you import your file, just to keep in mind that ShareSite only import buy and sell trades. So if you have any other types of trades such as dividends, dividend reinvestment plan, you can delete that from the file before you import. And at the same time, we also got custom templates here that you can use to import your file. For demonstration purposes, we'll open up a sample CSV file that contains historical trades from a broker. To have a successful file for import, you need the following information, the date of your trade, the ticker code for your stock, the market code for where the stock is traded, the type of trade, whether it's a buy or sell, the number of units in the trade, the price per share, any brokerage associated, and you can also add additional information uh, into the file as well, such as any exchange rate that may be associated with the trade, the currency of the brokerage paid, any comments you like to add to the trade. So here we've got the sample file here that I'm gonna show you. So you can see here, we actually have the trade date the transaction type, whether it's a buy or a sell. Uh, we have the ticket code here, we got the unit, which is the quantity, and we got the average price, and we also got the brokerage. So what's missing in here is the market code. So I'll add, so I'll add a market code. So I'll insert a column here, and I'll put it as a market code. this case um, all these stocks are listed in ASX so I'll edit them as ASX and the next thing I'm going to change is the transaction type uh, so these are all so I'm just going to change them to buy and some of these to sell Right, so we have um, everything's ready. So I'll just um, save this, save this file. So we're gonna what we're gonna do next is we're gonna upload the file. So I'm gonna select the file from here, and I'll upload the file, and I'll click on Review and Import. So as you can see here, we've come to this column selection. So basically you have to map each um, columns to the correct share site field. So in this case, we can ignore the confirmation number and the order number. Um, we just need to make sure the mapping is correct for the trade date. The market code is correct for the, for the transaction type. So that's what we're gonna select for the buy and sell. Uh, for securities, we will just map it to instrument code. And for units, that will be the under quantity, so that's correct. Um, average price, so that's mapped to price in dollars, so that's correct as well. For brokerage, we will select the brokerage field. And for the net, proce net proceeds, settlement date, and confirmation status, we will just skip, this, skip those columns. And I'm just going to click on start import now so you can see here that all of the trades that are ready to be import will be sitting in the ready to import tab and whereas you have some that has air content errors will be sitting in the rejected trades so one thing to remember is you can always fix this error in here so in this case there's a missing transaction type in here, so I'm just gonna change this to a buy. And there's a missing, there's a missing market code here. So what I do is we can actually 
search and select them um, in here. So once you've done that, you can actually mark them as fixed. And if we go back to the ready to import tab, you can also see you can also make changes for those transactions that are ready to be import. So for example, you know you can make any changes to the date, the instrument code, the transaction type in here. Uh, so in this case, everything is ready to be import. So why what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all and import the trades. So just to keep in mind, once you import everything, you can you will also see that ShareSite will automatically populate all the dividends and corporate actions uh, for those holdings. This concludes how you can import your trading history using the file importer. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload videos. Uh, don't forget to follow us on our social media at ShareSite for more product updates and announcements. See you.